Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to effectively communicate with your driver so you can make sure you're getting your load from point A to point B successfully. My name is Carly with Bright Moon. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to help me uh, continue to be motivated to make videos like these for you guys. And let's get into it. So first, um, at this point, you've already decided how you wanna keep in communication with your driver, whether that's um, text, phone call. So at Bright Moon, driver communication looks a little bit like this. First things first, I like to call in the morning to check up on my driver's hours just to, uh, and you guys look into driver's hours of service for those who don't know what that, already know what that means. Um, and if they're not already on a load, I like to ask them when they'll be ready to keep it moving. Next time you will talk to them is gonna be when you actually do find a load to get them moving. Um, you wanna check in with them to see if they like the options that you found. Um, unless you've already arranged something between you and your driver just you know to keep them moving maybe you guys have an agreed upon uh, rate per mile then just go ahead and book it and then call them to let them know so um and then obviously which brings me to my next point once you are ready to dispatch them you want to text them reach out to them to dispatch them aka sending them the proper pick up and drop off information with all the information that they need to pick and drop that load off properly and then also you want to remind them at that time to let you know their estimated time of arrival to the pickup you also want them to let you know once they made it to the shipper or the pickup uh, the next thing you want to reach out to them or have them reach out to you um, once their trailer is loaded up everything's you know on the trailer it's sealed and they're leaving you want them to let you know that because you have to let the broker know these things so all of these things that um they're reaching out to you to let you know like for example you know once they make it to the shipper because the brokers want to know as soon as they pick this load up they want to know like even actually before they pick the load up they want to know when they're on the way to pick it up so this is why you have this driver communication so that you can relay this information to the broker from your driver so once your driver gets to the shipper aka the pickup you you'll let the broker know um once they're loaded like i said and they leave the shipper you'll let the broker know um then also you want to ask your driver at that point for their estimated time of arrival to the receiver um where they're going to drop the load off to the place to the people who are actually receiving this once load. they make it to the receiver or the drop you'll hear it interchanged um in this industry a lot so once they actually make it you'll want them to let you know if you guys have checked out my free documentation you will see um it's listed in there that i need you to um let me know these things so that i can let the broker know that's why if you guys are looking at my free documentation that i provided for you i ask that you read it thoroughly before you you know utilize it read it thoroughly because this is um in there it they you know this is what i expect for, as far as communication so again once they have made it to the receiver to drop the load off um you know to get unloaded you want them to let you know that because you'll let the broker know immediately and the reason why these things are so important because you might need to um put in for some detention or some some layover and if you you know you have to report the the in and out times and all this you know extra stuff so it's, it's just easier if your driver lets you know all of these things that i'm mentioning when um as it's happening because you know like i said later on you might need to report your driver um for sitting there for for two hours you might have to report that to the broker so your driver can get paid some some extra detention money for those of you who know um what detention is and so once they actually drop that load off and um the items in the trailer are accounted for the people at the warehouse they've counted everything taken everything off and they've signed that your driver's paperwork um, which is the bill of lading uh, that they actually receive when they first pick the load up once they get that i need you to um let me know these things so that i can let the broker know that's why if you guys are looking at my free documentation that i provided for you i ask that you read it thoroughly before you you know utilize it read it thoroughly because this is um in there they you know this is what i expect for, as far as communication again once they have made it to the receiver to drop the load off um you know to get unloaded you want them to let you know that because you'll let the broker know immediately 
And the reason why these things are so important because you might need to um, put in for some detention or some, some layover. And if you, you know, you have to report the, the in and out times and all this, you know, extra stuff. So it's, it's just easier if your driver lets you know all of these things that I'm mentioning when, as it's happening, because, you know, like I said, later on, you might need to report your driver um, for sitting there for for two hours. You might have to report that to the broker so your driver can get paid some, some extra detention money for those of you who know um, what detention is. And so once they actually drop that load off and um, the items in the trailer are accounted for, the people at the warehouse, they've counted everything, taken everything off, and they've signed the, your driver's paperwork, um, which is the bill of lading. Uh, that they actually receive when they first pick the load up. Once they get that signed, you need to let them know immediately to send you a picture of that because you need to send that information over to the broker or else you don't get paid. That signed bill of lading, that is the most important piece of paperwork. One of the most important pieces of paperwork on your daily, you know, day-to-day -day job. So they definitely need to send you a picture, email it to you however you've, you know, set up communication with your driver let them know to get that um that information over to you it's important that they send that over to you for multiple reasons so you can send it to the broker and so you can upload it in your back office lastly you'll be communicating with your driver anytime anything else comes up like they forgot to send you um that picture of that paperwork if they if there's any reason why they can't make it to the load or drop it off on time or uh, on the agreed upon time if they are gonna miss their appointment time like they'll reach out to you and let you know these things and then there's also some times where you'll have to um, communicate with them because you know sometimes you might be so busy throughout your day you didn't even realize that they didn't send you that bill of lading rarely I hope but sometimes that might happen so you might have to reach back out to them and say hey do you remember that load that we did on like maybe like August 16th would you mind sending me the paperwork for it you know stuff like that so those will be most of the times the only time you'll have to communicate with your drivers keep that in mind you guys and uh, please check the description box below to join my free facebook group it's a support group just for those who want a community of like-minded individuals it's a positive uplifting community check the description box down below if you need to get any ebooks or my dispatch training um which is still at a discounted rate right now so thank you guys um for your time and I'll see you in my next video.